All right, for this video, we're going to um, add an audio track. It's pretty simple to do, and I'll talk about some of the parameters of it. So there's a couple ways you could do this. You can go down to up to the track pull-down menu and choose Insert New Track. Or on Mac, you can go Command-T or Control-T on PC will do the same thing. So Command-T will add an, a new audio track. And you can see now I've added two new audio tracks. And if you don't want to add another track, just remember Command-Z undo. Control Z undo that will undo um, anything you've done. So uh, first thing you want to look at um, when you do this is you can look at the um, up here you'll have the track display okay and sometimes you might not see all of that and basically what that means is if if your uh, arrange windows is expanded too far left you won't see all the controls so generally just move your mouse to the just to the left of the arrange window and you'll see a left right arrow and just pull it and expand it out I like to have this large so I can see it and up here you have your mute button and if you hover your mouse over each of these um, buttons it will give you a, a exactly what it is and a mute button basically mutes the track within a mix and this differs from a solo button which will solo this track so you'll only hear this track if you have more than one track if you have you know 15 tracks you hit the solo button you're only going to hear this track if you have 15 tracks you hit the mute button that will take that particular track out of the mix um, for fx we'll, we'll show that i'll talk more about this later but when you click on this you'll get all of your f your effects um uh parameters that will come up and we'll we will be talking about that later so i'll just close that window out um now another important you know and you can hover your mouse over each of these we're going to be talking about each of these buttons more uh, later in the course here you have an input so if you click on the input or down arrow here you'll get input mono stereo and midi now reaper's a little different than all a lot of other daws digital audio workstations in that you can actually once you add a track you can make it an audio or track or a midi track and i'll talk more about that later in the course too and it's kind of a weird uh, thing because most DAWs you have to add an audio track or add a MIDI track or add a virtual instrument track <clears throat> which you do have to do here but I'll talk about that so don't worry about it so you want to make sure your input select is your input is selected and you'll notice that I'm not getting any inputs here so that tells me that I've done something wrong in my preferences for selecting my input so to fix this just go up to Reaper pull down go to preferences and then the left pane make sure device is selected and for your audio device i'm going to go into built-in microphone okay so that way i know that i will be getting and you can already see once i start talking that now i'm getting some um, audio into this so all i want you to do for this lesson is to just add an audio track select your input and make sure you're getting some type of um, action from your input from your computer because most of you are not going to have an audio interface or a microphone you're just going to be using your computer inputs so get this set up and working and uh, next video we're going to actually record some audio